What CNC machine should I buy? Hello everyone, I'm the CNC repairman and I don't sell machines. So I hope I can give you an honest, unbiased review of what machine I would buy. Well, at least mostly unbiased. If you want a truly unbiased answer, I would call a salesman towards the end of the month. Totally unbiased. Okay, so enough joking around. Yes, I do sell parts and repair the electronics for the most common brand machine tool here behind me. I'm focusing my videos at the small shop, machinist who's trying to go out on his own, maintenance techs at a large facility, or service tech, and try to help them understand what people are looking for in machines and how to repair them. If you're a large production aerospace or medical shop with tons of machines, robots, twin spindle cells, this probably isn't the video for you because you're looking at a much larger, higher capacity machine. But if you're looking for a machine to put in your garage and to start to make little gadgets, then let me just tell you a little bit about why I think this or a similar brand machine will work so well for you. People ask me all the time, what's the best CNC to get? And I think it comes down to a few questions. Is this machine the right machine for your application? Do you understand the control and can you run it? And are you able to quickly make parts on it? How long will it take you to get set up and running? If you're in a shop that has 15 of one particular machine, getting a new machine with a different control is gonna be a steep learning curve. If you're making tiny little parts, a screw machine is probably the right thing. But if you're doing large weldsmans, you may want a large horizontal or vertical mill. If you're trying to debate whether you wanna get a lathe or a mill, a few things you wanna think about are, do I want live tooling on the lathe and a C axis? a y-axis or a tailstock. If I'm looking at a mill, do I have to have through spindle coolant? Some machines you can't upgrade to through spindle coolant. Do I wanna put a fourth and a fifth axis on it? Am I gonna be able to fit the largest part I'm ever gonna make on that table or will I have to pull the sheet metal off to fit it on there? I've been in a few shops that have some large five axis or four axis cell machines with pallet changers, robots, automatic washing, and lots of automation but there's lots and lots of work that can be done with a two axis lathe or a three axis mill from your home shop. So don't be dismayed, but it's gonna be kind of hard if you're trying to get a machine and tap into that high tech market. You may wanna look in a different area. I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's lots of simple three axis work and lathe two axis work out there to be gotten. The whole firearms industry, toy, automotive, EDC, pocket knives, etc custom tools, there's a wide industry to get and you just have to find your niche. So looking for a small little simple machine may be just the ticket for you and you don't need to get a super fast, super high tech machine. But I have seen shops grow quickly from one or two machines in your garage that are simple to now they're having huge cells. So let's circle back. I started this video talking about what CNC machine is the best and I kind of went down a rabbit trail of different shops building different things with different machines. But it all goes back to the point where if you can get a small machine and start building a custom little niche product or just finding job shop work, you'll grow. You absolutely will. So start with something small, simple, that you can afford, that you can run. That's my take. So you've been waiting for it. Here it goes. What machine would I recommend? What machine would I buy? Ugh. The machine behind me, the SL10-20-30, the VF-1-2-3, HS's, not so much, but the EC's, they're okay machines. Lots and lots of shops have them. Lots and lots of shops have had lots of success with them. So yes, they're not gonna be your micro precision machine, but they're gonna get you by for the majority of products that I see in the field. So that's why I would recommend these machines and also I can help you fix them. And I'm making videos weekly about them. So please comment below, tell me what you think. If you hate these machines, that's okay. But you can't argue with the success that I have seen after shop, after shop, after shop. So argue with success, maybe, but get a machine that is good for you. That's my take on what CNC machine I think you should buy.